This is the watt cycle, 12 volt, 100 amp hour, mini smart edition. In the box, terminal screws, both long and short, positive and negative protective caps, a card, warranty registration, and contact information, the user manual, and the battery itself, along with a nylon strap. I'm really amazed of how tiny this thing is. It's weird. Let me get a standard 12 volt, 100 amp hour and compare the size. This is Watt Cycle's standard 100 amp hour battery. And as you can see, I placed the mini on top. How they managed to put the same amount of amp hours inside such a small case is something we're gonna find out. Looking at the casing, you can see there is a Bluetooth Smart Edition. We're gonna to connect to the Bluetooth later in the video to check it out. We got some plugs covering some screws, which is nice. I really like this. It gives me the ability to open the casing. It basically makes this battery serviceable, which is a big plus in my opinion. Before we do anything else, I already charged it up to 100%. We're gonna do a capacity test, see if it holds 100 amp hours of capacity. All right, so I added some terminal screws. Capacity tester right here, zero it out. Like that. Positive. We're gonna do a 10 amp test. Like that. We're gonna let it run and see how many amp hours we get. Hopefully 100 amp hours. So after 10 hours and 11 minutes, the test is completed and we landed on 102.71 amp hours, which is a pass. Can't believe they are able to put that much capacity into such a tiny little thing. I can't wait to open it up and take a look inside. This should be fun. All right, take a quick look at the WhatsApp Bluetooth app. You can toggle between charging and discharging easily. Monitor your battery. You can take a look at the, each individual cell in your battery. No problem. There's a lot of nice little features. And it's definitely worth it. Remove the plugs. I'm going to remove the screws and we'll open it up. Take a look inside. So I unscrewed the screws and already we can tell that it is a snug fit inside of this casing. See the BMS on top right there. Let's see if I can get the battery pack out of the enclosure. So there we go. Got it out. 8 gauge wiring going to the negative and six gauge in the positive four cells in series welded nickel strips on the terminals and soldered balance leads to each strip looks good temperature sensor glued to the top of the cells it's nice xd ZN BMS, decent sized heatsink on the top. This is the Bluetooth module. Yeah, it looks good. Now let's run some tests. We'll test the high temp protection and the low temp protection. And we're also going to do a quick test of the BMS output. All right, so I've connected the DC power supply, put a small charge on the battery. We're charging at two amps. We are going to first test the high temperature protection with a heat gun. 
got the temperature sensor right here. There's actually two temperature sensors. So I'll just pick one and see what happens. There we go. Let's see if it starts again. And we're charging again. Let's do it again. And it shut off. So the high temp protection is working. That's nice. Let's test the low temp protection. Got some frozen salt water right here. Drill the hole in the ice. Put the probe in. See what happens. And it shut off. The low temperature is working. Let's heat it up. And try it one more time. Charging. And it's working. And we're back. Temperature probe back in its place. It's glued and taped to the top of the cell. There we go. Let's hook up an inverter if there's any issues. So I've connected an inverter to the battery. Got this clamp meter. So you can see how much we're drawing. And I will be using the heat gun to do the load testing. All right. Turn it on. Sixty-eight amps, no problem. Hundred and forty amps draw at the moment. And it shut down. Let's run the test again with the app open. All right, so we're running the test with the Bluetooth app open right here. Let's start the discharging. You can see we rise the current and it will come to a stop. And we'll soon reach the overcurrent protection. And we get the warning right there. All right, that's what that looks like. If you press the warning button, and turn everything off and it should reset no problem. So the overcurrent protection is working. So I guess all tests are a pass. Let me put everything back together and I'll be right back. So the 12 volt 100 amp mini smart edition from Wattcycle seems like a good quality battery. I really liked the fact that it went into overcurrent protection at about 140 amps. Great safety feature to have. Cold temp protection, high temp protection. Nice. And it's so tiny. I will leave some affiliate links in the description. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And be sure to check out these two videos next, because, well, YouTube wants you to.